Okay, so let's talk a little, a little bit bunker play. Um, bounce is obviously one of the big keys to playing uh, from bunkers, playing from sand. And uh, you know, your your sand wedge or lob wedge. This is my 58 degree uh, Cleveland Rotex. Um, this has got 12 degrees of bounce on it. Uh, your lob wedge is designed to have a nice amount of back edge on it. So by leading that shaft back, you'll see how this back edge really is the thing that's going to, as the front edge enters the sand, it's this back edge that's really gonna bottom out and help this club come back out of the sand, bouncing out of the sand. So that's one of the keys to, to playing bunker shots really well. Obviously, we don't want too much dig in the sand. We really want that, that club to skim off the top and really let this ball uh, fly out on a nice cushion of sand. So, you know, setup's key. Like I talked about, we really want to lean the shaft back uh, on the lob wedge. So, we really want to position our body to match that shaft. So, start off square. I like to lean the shaft back, follow that round with my body. I see too many amateurs getting getting too open on bunker shots. You know, somewhere along the line, someone said, open up swing across the ball. We don't want to open up too much because if we open up too much, you know, we really start to get too much too much sand sliding off the club face that way. We really want to keep the sand, I really like to feel like the sand at impact stay stays on the club face for as long as possible. So that's a really good little drill, both sides of the ball. Put some sand on your club face really see how long you can keep that sand in your club face because what you're doing there is you're maintaining loft. So we're gonna keep the sand on, try to feel like you throw over your right shoulder, that's got maximum loft. Then we really wanna try and deliver that loft into the back of the ball and feel like through impact that you've kept that loft on. You can see if we got two open and we try to drag across it, we're gonna lose the sand straight away. So key setup, lean the shaft back, follow that round with your body. Don't get too open, but we're going to try and get loft in the backswing and really throw that bounce back down into the sand, looking to try and take a kind of a, a five pound note size of sand out from around that ball, half inch behind it, half inch in front of it, really letting the loft and the bounce do the work. One of the keys to great bunker play is making sure that you've got uh, a lob wedge with the right amount of bounce on it. Thankfully, Cleveland offer uh, lots of loft and bounce options, low, standard, and high bounce options, depending on what type of sand you might have at your golf course. If your sand's firm, you want to go with that low bounce option. If you've got a lot of soft sand at your golf course, go with a very high, bop, uh, high bounce option. Um, to check those out, check out Cleveland Golf 588 co.uk and get the right lob wedge for you.